Welcome back to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show and Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Director Paolo Hirsch was rather an ordinary filmmaker of rather ordinary films, such as A Violent Life in 1962 about Italian juvenile delinquents and Whatever Happened to Baby Toto in 1964. I'll let you work out what that one's about. His only other genre effort was the 1958 disaster movie The Day the Sky Exploded, in which the sun catches on fire. They didn't really think this through, did they? Dr. Olcott is played by Carl Schell. You may not be able to tell from his performance tonight, but he comes from awfully good stock, being the lesser-known brother of award-winning actors Maximilian Schell and Maria Schell, and cousin to beautiful Catherine Schell from the Jerry Anderson series Space 1999. She played Maya, the shape-changing alien, and was the first woman on television to make sideburns sexy. Apart from minor roles in dozens of American television shows, Carl Schell's most important role was probably in 1966 as the Red Baron in The Blue Max, opposite a young George Papard. The most familiar face among the cast might belong to the school's director, Mr. Swift, played by Kurt Loans. He's appeared in more than a hundred American television shows, from Combat in 1966 to Babylon 5 to Cold Case a couple of years ago. Yes, folks, this one is still alive. But for how long? He can also be spotted in films like The Mephisto Waltz, The Hindenburg, Firefox, and most recently, Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks. Leonor is played by Maureen O'Connor, the biggest role of her blissfully short but nevertheless unusual film career. About this time in 1961, she appeared in only two other films, both credited as Girl, after which she vanished from the silver screen. Two decades later, she pops up seemingly from nowhere to play Matt Houston's secretary in the television show of the same name, a Magnum P.I. wannabe, followed by small roles in Manimal and The Man Who Loved Women with Burt Reynolds. Maybe she had a thing for facial hair. Anyway, Maureen finally retired after a film career that spanned more than 20 years and just six minor roles. Then, of course, there's beautiful Barbara Lass, here playing Priscilla. Barbara was only 20 years old at the time and just looks absolutely smashing. No matter how many beautiful women I see in movies, now and again one really catches my eye and throws it back to me. Barbara is one of those. Her biggest brush with fame was her brief marriage to director Roman Polanski. Maybe she was too old for him. Her only English language film was the rather mediocre made-for-television movie House's Memory, starring David McCallum and written by Kurt Soydmack. Unfortunately, Barbara passed away in 1995 at the terribly young age of 55. Well, it's young by my standards. I have to admit, compared to many of the films I've presented, this one isn't so bad. For instance, the film is only 83 minutes long, and the filmmakers do put some work into it, supplying us with a large number of suspects and making sure everybody is acting suspiciously at all times. The only practical way to figure out who the werewolf is is by simply waiting until everyone but the villain has been killed off. Let's hope this is what happens during the exciting conclusion of Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory.